G'day trendsetters, today I'm coming to you from a rather murky Hatfield, Indiana which is a little east of Evansville, Indiana. What am I doing here you might be wondering. Well I scored a smoking deal on a one-way airline ticket to this neck of the woods with my friends at American Airlines. Out of camera shot is a minivan rental I've got. Long story short I'm gonna ride today then I'll drive somewhere else, ride another day and so on. Hopefully the rain sort of stays away. It's pretty wet out here. It could be a mess on the first mixed surface road. It's a route of my own design. It's about 77 k's, 47 miles, mostly flat. I think it runs alongside the Ohio River. Let's get cracking. Hatfield's a pretty small little town, it seems. Some houses, a church, water repair business, not much happening. Temperatures are uh, in the mid 50s Fahrenheit. And I'm wearing my marvelous Castelli Gabba kit. This kit is years old, but Castelli is my clothing sponsor nowadays. Fantastic stuff. Oh, there's the United States Post Office for Hatfield, Indiana 47617. I left my shoe covers on, didn't I? Bloody hell, guaranteed to get the feet soaked for sure. Onto the first mixed surface road of today and yeah, all right, that road there is pretty flooded out. And here is my steed for today, the Time 80 HX45, a bike I have reviewed. You can check it out, link in the description below and on screen. And I'm rolling Logos component wheels. I'm not going to put myself into this water. Who knows how bloody deep it is. And this is like kilometre number two. Hard pass on that. U-turn required. Plan B. About to be executed. The roads aren't too bad, considering. Now, they had some flooding and tornadoes out here recently, so there might be some backtracking today. We all have to see. Could be a very dynamic route. High water risk, indeed. So, I was supposed to ride that road there. As you can see, it's pretty dodgy. All right, we're on our course here. Gravel roads look to be pretty marvelous. It's not too windy. Ah, uh, fingers crossed it stays that way. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, there's a water feature ahead of us. Is it impossible? Yeah, this could be a bit dodgy. Yes. Okay. Need to execute another plan B. I have a sense of adventure, but uh, I'm not going to be hoofing it across that lake, field, etc. Okay, here's plan B, another gravel road here. So that's at least something, I guess. Nice fields with the flowers blooming. I might have mentioned this earlier, I believe there were some tornadoes and such in this area recently, a lot of rain, it was certainly pissing rain yesterday, and well, those fields are pretty flooded out, there's a water bird over there enjoying it, let's hope this road isn't flooded out, I really don't want to backtrack again. We are not at the beach. We are in a farm field here in Indiana. Ah, look at this lovely bridge here. We're about to cross over. Good at construction. Thus far, trendsetters, I've seen one car. Hopefully <laughs> it stays the same. I'm uncertain if you can make it out in the woods there. There is no railway bed. That would be pretty sweet to ride. 
it's a bit overgrown, but yeah, definitely an old railway bed. Improvisation time. Welcome to Yankee Town. Ah, oh, crap. Well, this route is dead as well. Ugh. Well, I've never had a route affected this much by flooding before, so there's a first for everything. I'm trying to be optimistic here today, but I have a feeling this route might ultimately be abandoned just because of all the flooding. There is one big positive today. I'm on vacation from my regular job, so I'm enjoying this lovely countryside despite the routing challenges. That's right, trendsetters. I do have a regular job. Double Cyclist is my side project, so to speak. Well, this Plan C so far is working out to be pretty tasty. How's this for a nice road, trendsetters? Marvellous. It appears I'm on the edge of a power generation station. Well, trendsetters, there you go. No trespassing private property. Do not proceed beyond this point without prior permission. As much as I'm into dodgy adventures, we're not going to be pushing our luck with center point energy. Well, now it's time for plan D. So plan D is going to involve me going back to the start in the bustling metropolis of Hatfield and then riding the route backwards for a bit and see what happens. Maybe we'll get a ride out of this today, who knows. Back across the Goethe Bridge and you can see the old railway pylon right there in camera shot, another one there. So I was correct, the railway used to run parallel to this road a long time ago. Back into Hatfield. Established 1883, I think the sign says. Back into the center of Hatfield, where I pretty much started the ride from. I'll send a quick message to LGC. She's not riding today. Yeah, nice WS6 Trans Am. Hello again and welcome to another episode of Gravel Roads of the World 101 Presently between Hatfield, Indiana that way and uh, way over there is Evansville, Indiana It's rather chunky and a bit sandy as well It's rather gluggy, rather velcro like especially considering all the rain It's just proof that gravel roads, no matter where you ride, are dynamic in nature Hello again, trendsetters. I just spoke to a local bloke who didn't want to be on camera. Who can blame him? <laughs> anyway, he was telling me that there's a bunch more flooding not too far from the current location, and there is more further dodgy weather inbound, according to the weather, the weather bug app. So I'm going to make my way towards Evansville, and LGC is going to meet me somewhere along the way. I'm running the live track here in my Garmin watch. Let's get cracking. Yeah, it's a bit muddy here on the old bike. Thankfully, I did ceramic coat the frame. I should have a video all about the ceramic coating process. Linked in the description below or little box on screen. I see you there. We've got chooks and a male turkey and a goat. G'day mate. So much flooding in this neck of the woods.
This bridge is going to be slick, so we're going to ride the middle. Looks like a defunct railway bridge. Well, the ride's about to end here in a moment. I just spoke to LGC, she's on her way to pick me up here shortly. There's this lovely covered bridge just ahead. I'm going to seek shelter and hide out there. Correction, I think this is some kind of fancy neighbourhood. However, I'm going to hide beneath the shelter anyway. Observation here, notice how clean the bike is. You notice how dirty it was earlier, covered in mud and so on. So that is testament the ceramic coating I applied to the frame, fork and a couple of components such as the cranks are repelling water magnificently. Don't forget that road spray and rainwater basically washed this bike off as I was riding along. There's a little bit of mud here and there, not too much, but it's pretty clean. All I have to do now is wipe it off essentially. And the other thing, look how sparkling that KNC chain is. I have applied Allied Cycle Works Grax. Squirt is another wax based lube, and those lubes are fantastic. Well, it's gotten rather murky, but LGC came to the rescue. There's a rental minivan. Excellent. There's the bike. So, kind of short today, but whatever. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cypress YouTube channel for unplanned, well, I guess, sort of planned, right experience videos such as this one, no bull gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and of course, general madness. G'day, trendsetters. Indeed, as all of it is released to the channel, I'll see you and I'm somewhere not far from Evansville, Indiana. Who knows where I'll ride tomorrow? See you in the next video.